Go and find some. 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 Actually, the issue of security has been a lingering issue across the states in Nigeria. And uh, what happened yesterday night, we were really angry. And the students are all sad because it's so painful to see their own fellow being taken just like that. And uh, just as you can see, we see the number of troops here. And uh, we wish that this number of troops were seen and this number of troops will remain here. We know this, the security men are our friends. And it's not only really when there are issues like this, we'll see them around. But at least, even, even after this issue, we should be seeing them around. It will be so painful that even if you, if you live here now, other, and the security men live here now, you won't see this, kind of, this type of troops here. Do you so know what, what exactly do you want? So we need the, we need the, the, the student the, here. We need uh, the security uh, agents deployed here. At least we should see troops around. We all know that uh, this is not where they're supposed to be. But because of the security issue in the states, we need them around. Many students are not staying in the campuses because of issues like this. Like this uh, environment, this uh, school environment, this environment, like this, it is not really safe. Even the student community, is it, it is not really safe. And there's no fence. Even the school, there's no fence. It is very, it is very unfortunate and it's very painful. But, but, it's, but, it, but also the state government have been trying recently to ensure that there's a fence in the state. Mm -hmm. And which is, we give them a plus for that. But they, all, all right, and they should also try to enhance security in the school. These quarters have been uh, porous. The gates are open. We have snake attacks, robbery attack, kidnappers attack. This is the third time kidnappers are coming to this campus. How oh, we are getting it. And up till now, I didn't see any improvement on the uh, security situation. Even students were among the people that were shot yesterday. One just died. But my own, in my own case, I was able to escape. And this what happened. This, I got this in the process of escaping. They went into my uh, my bathroom where I was trying to enter the ceiling and they dragged me down and brought me outside. So in the process of uh, bringing me outside, I realized that I can push the guy since the gun is hanged. And I push him and I took off. So I'm going to security office again. Uh, all the security people, they are helpless because they don't have guns. guns. So when they saw me coming, they closed their office and ran away. I have to proceed with my running. And they were looking for me with pump action guns. And the other guy was even shouting, where is the pump action gun man? Where is the pump action gun man? And I was running. Then luckily for me, I went to my hideout. Where I tell you, I cannot say it now. I hide somewhere up to when the city, uh, city uh, police came in two, in two hours time. It took them like two hours uh, to come here. So when they came down here, we are already uh, secured. They already ran away and people were outside sympathizing. So they took away some of our colleagues and some students. And these students are actually preparing for exams. And they shot some of them and they took some of them. So honestly, we are not really happy with the security situation in these quarters. Because the place is porous, so they can come at any time again. So as I'm talking to you now, we cannot sleep in these quarters again until when something is done. And we cannot give our best until when something is done. With security, you can do everything. Even the students are afraid. They are not even staying in their hostel. Because of all the security, too. so I think with that, this is what I can say for now. And I'm here on behalf of Governor of Kaduna State uh, with head of security agencies, and we are also here with the management uh, of the Polytechnic. So we are here to assess the situation and to see ways or means that we can enhance security in the institution. So that is uh, the purpose of our coming here to see for ourselves uh, what uh, happened here. Uh, so far, uh, two lecturers and about uh, eight students uh, are missing and uh, one of the students was uh, confirmed dead uh, following gun uh, shots that uh, we had uh, here. Uh, from our findings, they may have been uh, kidnapped by 
the bandit. So we are here to see means uh, through which we can through which we can enhance uh, security. Uh, we also gathered that one of the students uh, is uh, presently uh, on admission at uh, undisclosed hospital. Yeah, Muslim hospital uh, in Zaria. So we've had the plight of the student and I want to uh, assure them that uh, we will do all that is within our reach uh, in order to enhance uh, security uh, asset here in the uh, institution. And I also want uh, the student uh, to know that there is indeed deployment of troops across or along the Kaduna Zaria road. Uh, they are carrying out aggressive uh, fighting patrol and we are of the strong uh, conviction that uh, the bandit came to the institution uh, because they were denied uh, freedom of action on the Kaduna Zaria road. Possibly uh, that is why they exploited uh, the window that uh, we saw here. But I want to assure you that we will do our best. Like you can see, we are here with uh, heads of security agencies uh, who are operating in the general area.